Hey YouTube, it's John on S and look, I finally got them, the butterfly knife. I've only got one more melee that I need now to complete the set of melee weapons and that is the brass nux. But now I've got the wrench and the butterfly knife and funnily enough, I actually got the butterfly knife from a common supply drop, not from a rare, it was from an actual common supply drop. I had two that I could open, so I opened two and I ended up now finally with the butterfly knife. So I'm showing you this gameplay guys as I wanted to one show you the butterfly knife which I've now got in this gameplay. This is the first ever time I was using it. As you can see I'm also using the ICR as well and I had this epic gameplay as well to show you as well. So I'm just going around guys. I did get killed before as you saw a little bit newbie-ish. People do camp up there which is really annoying. I waited just to see if it was still up there and it was, so take him out. I don't know why people love camping in this room, it is crazy. Yeah, you've got the whole like look of the map. And there you go, first stab with the butterfly knife. I did wait for someone else, I could hear someone. But the footsteps could have been the guy there as well, jumping back up in order to shoot me in the back. So, I had to die I guess, I had to. So I'm just running around, as you can see, I've got that really cool Warton looking camo on the ICR. And I'm rocking on my streaks, as you can see, the UAV, the Wraith, and you be hating with that hater. And as you can see, I'm also using Seraph, and I'm using her special ability of combat focus so I can get the streaks in quicker, because it is really cool, it's really good one to use for the specialists if you want your streaks fast. I could hear someone now for someone's shooting me from behind sure of it and turn around and he, um, he managed to get the lucky shot in. I thought I'd killed him to be honest but and there I thought my teammate had got him the time I had chance to even turn and shoot him there was no chance absolutely no chance. So I'm just using Come focus. I don't know why people still do that. The melee when they try to come up and melee you, and then you just kill them. And I'm using someone's VMP. So I'm just going around now. This is usually a hot spot for enemies, so I'm just carefully looking because they do camp in this room quite a lot. But nobody in there, which is good. Then swap back to the ICR for the range, and then I could hear someone, so I swap back to the VMP. Because this is a dominating gun up close. There you go, take him out. Now I've got my UAV. UAV ready for deployment. I'm just going back around again, going with the friendlies just in case. Pulled in the UAV. I was going to actually wait until I got the combat focus again because you do get assist points with every UAV, every counter UAV, anything at all that you get assist with, you do get double the points. So it's definitely worth using. If even if you haven't got anyone to kill, if you know you're gonna pull in a wraith or anything like that, or you're gonna start using UAV, slap it on. And then the enemies coming from behind us. Got two teammates here. I don't know what they were doing. As you can see them in the to my left, just two facing the completely wrong way, and me just dominating all the enemies in order to keep them safe. Just got a quick reload in there. And as you can see I've got extended mags which is Neptune which is one of the legendary attachments. And I turned around because I thought they might have been spawning that way and lucky I did. And I again another shot I thought I really would have killed him. Apparently he got a headshot but I'd already shot him. It's a bit weird. I must have been injured by the other person first in order to obviously have lost that gunfight. So I'm just looking for those enemies. So go back to the usual spot. I know where they usually camp. So just keep an eye out because people do spawn in this area. So do be very, very careful. But he's there again, look. And uh, his best friend. It is crazy to see how many people camp in that room. That that room is a camper's paradise. So I'll come back through again, sticking on my combat focus. And if I come in here, because I could hear gunfight coming from here. I don't 
tend to travel in that area too much because it is a death trap because you can get them coming from any sides and it's really really difficult obviously to be able to judge which side they're coming from every time you've done that you're probably dead so take him out uh, quickly drop in the UAV uh, if I'd heal a minute I'll not try and rush them this time I'd give it time to heal and then I saw him with shotgun so I thought I'll wait a minute while he's taking on someone else I knew he was still there somewhere and then he started to wall run and I thought no I'm going to challenge this guy I'm sure I can get him took him out quickly before the rolling thunder come in And then picked up the other guy's VMP because I, I do like this setup. I think I might start doing that, guys. I might start actually using two guns. I might have a, a long range gun and a close range gun. Because it is really, really cool and to have two guns, especially when you know uh, this range, like here, is perfect for the VMP. With the ICR, the ICR wouldn't excel in that room. And there you go, level 108. So I'm, I'm getting through my levels, as you can see I'm using the World at War emblem, that's the one that I decided to choose. I could hear someone here using my awareness, so I thought I'll come in here, pull out the VMP again, someone got gravity spiked, but he soon <laughs> found out he wasn't going to live long. And heard this guy jump, and now we've got my r -r -r Wraith, and I need one kill and then I'll have my hater, and they'll be hated. There we go. And drop in the hater. Now this makes it very easy, obviously, for the team. I've got combat focus as well, so I dropped combat focus on as well. Which I'm just starting now. That'll help, obviously, towards these points with the hater and with the wraith. And I saw this guy. I thought, I'll wait for him. He'll come back. He'll definitely challenge. I'm sure he will. And he did. There we go, and I could see that guy up the top, so I thought, no, I'm not, I'm, I can see you this time. I know what you're going to do, so I duped him, took him out, so I knew he'd be waiting. I'm just running around now, looking for my next one. See this guy over here. I'm giving chase. We see a lot of them over in their own spawn when they spawn from this side and they're on top of here. This is another place that a lot of people like to come to. They sit on top of there. So I took them out as well. I was down to the last 14 bullets. And then I heard someone. As you can see I aimed. I thought maybe he might come. Changed to VMP. Took him out as he had the sparrow. And then I could hear someone else down below. So I did go down. Couldn't see anyone so far. Get back in quick. Won't start too long. Then I heard him. So ran back and killed him. Another Wraith. So this is my second Wraith. My second hater. I I bet these guys were loving me. I, all these haters and Wraiths coming into play. And then put my comeback focus up again. And I tried to take out the shotgun guy because he was trying to shoot down my wraith, but unfortunately he had a friend. So that wraith's still going to work, as you can see. Absolutely dominating the guy there again with the rocket launcher, so I took him out. And just for giggles, I picked up the XM53. I did try and shoot this guy with it. I thought maybe that might kill, but obviously he missed. I thought, oh well, oh well, I thought I'd have a laugh. Try and see if I could actually kill him with it. I could have swapped to my gun, but I decided not to. And there we go, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this gameplay. I went absolutely insane on this. 47 and 9. A 5.22 kill streak. KD, I mean. Sorry. Well, if you did like, don't forget to drop that thumbs in. It really does help the channel to grow. Hope you enjoyed this, guys. I loved this game. It was really cool. Seraph looking beautiful as ever. This is John ONS signing out, guys. And as always, I salute you. Do that dance.